Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Kingdom of Romania. All right, so uh, just to address a few things in the, the that have been brought up in the comments, and uh, of course, you got these loud vehicles going by as soon as I start recording. Uh, so uh, a lot of people, or a few people, seem kind of concerned, uh, thinking, oh, you know, that this, you know, that we've had this territory loss, that this is, means we're going to lose, or like uh, things are going really badly. Um, but honestly, things are going pretty well for the most part. Now, it has been about a little over two months since the war started. And, uh, and of course, we've been gone so slow that that has been uh, over the course of two episodes uh, just to get those two months done. And we have uh, been pushed back a lot quicker than I expected. I was expecting that it would take longer for them to take this territory from us. And, and the main reason for that, of course, is that the allies have not helped. Uh, I was expecting that as soon as they we joined their faction... Good God, guys, we've got like some of the loudest cars and motorcycles in our neighborhood. And they're so loud that you can't edit them out. Like, it's it's extremely, extremely loud. And, and man, they never go by my house unless I'm recording. As soon as I hit that record button, we're, what, like a minute something into the video and I've had like three loud-ass vehicles go by? Ah, just irritating. Anyways, uh, I thought that the allies, as soon as we joined them, that they'd start pumping troops to come, like, you know, defend our borders. This is the opportunity for them to, to fight the, the Germans in, in European territory. So I thought they would come rushing to defend our borders, and they haven't. Um, not at all. Uh, like, just look, guys. I mean, we have one British division there, um, and that's it. That is it, guys. Uh, like, they had a couple over here, but I guess they moved them. I'm just shocked. Uh, there's another British division right there, but I'm just shocked at how little they have helped. Uh, they haven't done anything. Uh, so that's... I wasn't expecting that, guys, honestly. I thought they were going to do a lot more than they have. Uh, so that's part of the reason why we've, we've lost territory quicker than I thought. However, we actually killed a lot more Axis troops than I was expecting by this point. Uh, we've killed like 4 million Axis troops between Italy and the Germans. So that's a lot in two months four million dead yeah that's a lot so we're actually killing them way quicker than i expected and that's how we're going to win the war guys uh, by just killing so many so many of them and maybe we don't burn through their manpower but at the very least we'll start burning through their more expensive equipment looking at the, the tanks here uh, i expect that uh you know they're not going to run out of infantry equipment more than likely but they might run out of like the more expensive equipment like the the medium tanks and heavy tanks and stuff like that so yeah, I feel pretty good. Uh, this is not to be worried about, guys. This is all, once again, territory that I expected to lose. And most importantly, it's not really all that great of territory. I mean, you see a little bit of resources here. Uh, but for the most part, most of this land doesn't have very many resources. And it doesn't have factories. Uh, there's just not a lot of factories in, throughout this region either. So they just lost 4 million men to gain basically nothing. They didn't really get much for that. Uh, so again, all territory that I'm willing to give up, especially to kill 4 million of them. So uh, yeah, I feel like things are actually going pretty good uh, so far. Uh, so I went ahead and did a few things off camera. I created a new air wing, moved a couple air wings around. Uh, also kind of rearranged the way our divisions are working uh, as well. You see, I kind of uh, just pulled like I pulled a yellow army division off of here made this one a little bit longer uh, a few different things also I've had several people mention that this would be a great place for defense here uh, and I didn't really think of it that way what I was gonna do is I was just gonna put uh, one of our uh, you know one of our, our task force like the destroyer one uh, here I think it would be, yeah, be right here uh, to block them from crossing here and that's why I wasn't defending this and why I wasn't worried about them getting behind the yellow army I was just gonna block them from crossing right there with the, with the ship uh, but what I didn't think about is the fact that this is actually a fantastic place to defend, and I didn't think I was going to have time, but they just kind of be sitting. They're just sitting here. They're not really attacking. Uh, so I went ahead and sent some divisions over here. Uh, now, I think only one division's from up here. The rest are actually from other armies that I, I brought into the Green Army. That's why they went from 20 to 22 divisions. And we'll try and defend it. We'll see if we can. Uh, also, I changed this front up. Uh, you know, we're not going to defend any of these, these uh, territories that don't have forts like these two here. I, I pulled it back. Uh, so kind of just rearranged it a little bit, kind of extended out this way simply because they're not doing anything here. So why give up that air base and also give us more time to uh, try and get some divisions over here. So yeah, just kind of rearrange things. And uh, soon we're going to be pulling back with this army here. And they're going to pull back up along here to defend this territory for us very, very soon, guys. Uh, we're going to let it go a little bit longer. I do want to pull these guys back, though, and I can't get them to pull back. They just refused to. Uh, but one thing we're going to do before we unpause and start playing is we are going to attempt to trade for a little bit of oil. Not much, just a little bit, because frankly we are running a little bit low on uh, oil right now. So we're going to trade for two, 
uh, two factories worth, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, so these guys are all retreating here. Hopefully these guys can get out of here before they get here. I don't actually know. It looks like we're in kind of a bad position right there, actually. And maybe that's why I attacked there. I don't know. No, that's not why. But let's try and cancel this. Pull back. All right, awesome. So we'll see if we can't get here in time. Maybe we did attack to stop them. Uh, let's see, they get one, there in one day in 12 hours. Just taking a look at us. It's going to be 16 and 20 hours. And I don't see anybody that's attacking over there except for these ones. Uh, so I think we should be able to get there in time and not get destroyed, hopefully. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, they did, as soon as we started here, they launched their attack, which is unfortunate. Uh, so let's go ahead and have these guys retreat, although we can't retreat to... And for whatever reason, I'm just having problems trying to get troops to retreat, man. So yeah, it does look like we're about to lose in both of these areas. Okay, and now they are pushing forward here as well. So basically, as soon as we uh, pressed on pause, they just started. They decided to start like uh, fighting. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the division that is attempting to leave here. I'm trying to find him, uh, and I can't seem to find him. I think it's this guy. Let's have him. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, they just won't. They just can't. Won't retreat, man. All right, well that's a bummer. Uh, so we might not be able to defend that. We'll just have to see. Also, I, I fixed some of the stuff with the forts here where we weren't really doing these uh, the best. So I went ahead and rearranged that, changed it up a little bit. All right, so I don't know what these guys are doing, but we might go ahead and have them get over to here soon. We need to get this uh, fortified a little bit better. Uh, let's take a look and see what this is. Uh, sunk three Japanese convoys, so that might be one whole division. Also, there is a successful uh, invasion here. So we'll see if that, you know, if they're able to retain that, still have that success. Probably not. And I would like to uh, launch an offensive into Italy, but first we've got to fall back up along here. We need to stop some of this this craziness here. Stop these guys from doing their thing here. Uh, and then we're going to want to pull back from this one as well. I don't see any reason to uh, stay here. So let's just go ahead and get out of there. And, uh, there we go. and another thing I completely forgot about, Bulgaria, guys. We have got to get them annexed. I've been meaning to do this for a while, and we just... We got them down to like where we just need five more. Uh, so just giving them a small amount of equipment should fix this. I've been trying to do it for a while now and uh, just haven't been able to. Uh, let's just give them a little bit of uh, support equipment because you don't really have to give them very much in order to get, what is it, five? Yeah, let's just go up to 100 and uh, just trying to get the, the minimum amount. We'll go up to six. There we go. So we'll hit, hand them this uh, support equipment and hopefully that will allow us to... Uh, finally annex them. Uh, these troops should be uh, leaving. Yeah, they are, but they are not taking the railroads. Let me just make sure that they do. Because otherwise, it is going to take them forever to get out of here. So let's go ahead and make sure that they move faster. All right, just have them go over here, take those railroads, and uh, try and get to this front quicker. And uh, that should allow us to annex them. Uh, soon, as soon as I get that shipment. All right, so still looking pretty good. I'd like to decrease the Red Army front a little bit uh, before we do that offensive, so we can pull these tanks out of here. Uh, but uh, we gotta first pull the ar Orange Army back, and I'm trying to like let them do it slowly. And it does look like this got messed up again. Uh, somebody asked me why we were even bothering to, uh, and it looks like we're actually about to lose here. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's go and delete this. We've lost Kiev, essentially. We've held it for a long time, guys. Um, but, yeah, it's, it is time to leave. Uh, so let's go and attack here just to, to get this tank out of here. Uh, it'll be 19 hours. Well, maybe we might be able to get them both out of here, actually. Let me just take a look. Yeah, we can, we can get them both out. Let's go and retreat these guys. Hopefully they don't attack us there, though. And, uh, yeah, the reason why we've been using this here, you know, the... Uh, oh, this is all dicked up. All right, so we need to... Oh, we lost all this territory. Okay, I didn't see that. All right, well, this guy is now... Good God, what are these guys doing? <laughs> okay, I see what happened here. Uh, so, yeah, they're all trying to get out of here. Let's just place him over here, then. Have him hurry up and get over there on the railroads. Let's have this guy go here. And this guy's already going there. Excellent. And, yeah, we'll just go ahead and pull this all back. Uh, clearly, this got quite messed up when they uh, advanced here really quickly. All right, so we're going to go this way. Good God, come on. Uh, that one's fortified, but I think they're about to take it, so let's just go ahead and keep them here. And, uh, looks like everybody is right here now. Alright, so this is fine for now. Uh, again, we'll probably, uh, adjust it a little bit later here. 
But yeah, they are pushing us back here. Uh, and I think it's about time to go ahead and pull these guys back. Now that we left Kiev, that's the only reason why I had uh, these guys still here. So let's go ahead and get them pulling back to a more defensible front. And uh, again, the reason why we are using... I started saying this, but I didn't finish what I was saying. The reason why we're using fallback lines rather than the front lines is because I don't actually want them to defend the entire front here. And who the hell is attacking that way? This guy. Good God. Come on, stop that man. Stop the madness. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take... Uh, the troops here and uh, put them onto a more defensible front right along what we'll probably have them do is defend up along here and then across here so that's what I'm trying to do see if I can take a look here all right so that's how we want it to go all right so let's go ahead and grab this army up let's go ahead and delete their current front and then give them a new fallback line to cover the territory across here. Now, I don't know... Let me see. I don't really know how this needs to look. I think it's like this. Yeah, and then we need to go across here, and then we'll take a look and see if that's how we want that to look. Alright, so we're covering the level 5 and level 7. Uh, we'll double up on that, I guess, because we have the green army there as well. And then they're covering all across here, the level 6 forts, and then up along here just to make them fight a support, because it is across a river. All right, so that looks pretty good, and eventually we'll fall these guys back to, to right along here. All right, so that looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and have them all move over to this territory now. And I'm going to go ahead and change these guys' color up, man. This is confusing the hell out of me. Uh, do we have a yellow army in this area? We do not. Uh, so let's just go with the yellow army here. Well, we have a yellow army over there, don't we? Uh, but the red and orange just look so damn similar, man. What, what do we not have here in this, this region? Uh, let's go with a... Do we have a purple... We do not have a purple. Alright, we'll go with like a purple color then. Just so I can kind of make these look a little bit different, man. Alright, awesome. So they're going to start falling back now. And uh, let's go ahead and start just retreating. And uh, get all these guys out of here. This guy should have retreated to over here. We can't fix that though. So we have to keep that division there for right now. So we should probably have a division start moving over that way. Or like two of them. Just to temporarily until we get this division out of here. We don't want them to uh, all fall back too rapidly. Uh, this guy should be moving as well. Let's get all of them out of here. And then we'll move these uh, three tanks somewhere else. I'm not entirely sure where we're going to put them yet. We might just go ahead and have them come on over to uh, this frontier once they uh, get out of here. I don't want them to die. Uh, let me make sure that they're going to make it. we got 20 hours is what it looks like. Uh, and one hour. Alright, so they're going to attack there. And we'll... How do these guys look? Two hours. Okay. So they should be able to get out of there. And uh, we'll go ahead and retreat them. All right, so retreat, man, retreat. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, reduce this front again. Uh, there's no forts along most of this territory here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and have the green army. Uh, they're going to defend here and up along here for now. All right, so that looks good. Oh, that's the purple army. <laughs> Damn it, I grabbed the wrong one. My bad, guys. Uh, we want it to look like that. I'm trying to grab the green army. Apparently, I can't do that. Uh, one that looks like this, so let's just go ahead and have that fixed. All right, lovely. Now, we did lose there. It does look like they're going to get across here. Again, this is our main defenses here, so it's fine if they get across here. Uh, in fact, I'm almost about willing to just give up this territory as well, guys. Yeah, I don't think we're going to hold it. I think we need to get back to a more defensible area, so yeah, it's time to, to, to get rid of this. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get all these guys and delete their current line here, and I'm just going to give it up, guys. It's over. We lost here. Uh, so instead, we'll go ahead and defend along here. It sucks because I was wanting to defend those uh, more defensible... I mean, I guess we could. Nah, we'll just use a purple army for that. So let's go ahead and have the green army cover along here. And then the purple army, uh, we'll pull them back here. And that'll fend right here. Just make them fight us for some of this here. All right, let's get the green army back, who's not doing very well. And also, we have some divisions here that are done. Let's go and put them into this little training army that's still got going. All right, uh, so we're just waiting for a lot of these divisions to get their butts over here. Uh, it looks like we might be able to defend this now. Uh, looking, yeah, we got four divisions there. That's not too shabby. Uh, and yeah, we'll just pull all these guys back. We we'll just need to kind of uh, manage this a little bit. I'm still waiting for this guy to get out of there. Uh, so we are going to move these ones ahead just so we don't get them uh, cut off. All right, so that looks good. And what I might do is have one guy just kind of stay here, and then we'll see what he does. All right, um, so I don't actually want these two to go there. Uh, so we need to keep, like, 
adjusting them. I'm just trying to make sure that they don't go to the front here just yet. Just kind of micromanage this a little bit. All right, so these guys are now ready to hop on over to this front. And uh, start kind of evacuating here. Get out of there, man. All right, we can't get them out of there. There we go. Just make all these guys retreat. Just kind of uh, retreat to more defensible territory. We'll see how this ends up going. Uh, so they haven't been able to uh, defeat us that well along here. We are doing some stupid attacks. Let's go and stop these. And uh, see how the yellow army looks. Yeah, you guys don't need to go there. Just stay right there for now. And uh, seeing if we need to pull any more of these back. I think it's okay for right now. Uh, they are getting up to this this area though. So, But I want to make them fight us for it. Because we haven't finished building the forts along here just yet. Uh, it's going to take some time uh, to get all the fortifications built. We also can probably pull off a division here. We have uh, 13 divisions, so let's go and pull one off and bring them over to this front. Just trying to get this uh, defended and get a little bit of fortification going. Uh, let's go ahead and retreat here. All right, the retreat is actually going fairly well. Uh, looks like we did get that division out of there, so we don't need to move them over here anymore. So they can go and just start evacuating. All right, so yeah, this is, this is uh, looking good. All right, and once this is better defended, it does look like we're about to lose right there, but that's okay. Uh, once this is uh, better defended, we'll pull this red army back as well. Let's see what we can do there. All right, so just getting everybody retreated, get them all fortified. They could easily break through here, uh, but they have decided not to for whatever reason, uh, which they're missing out on an opportunity to break through some fortified lines. So, yeah, they are just moving so rapidly, and that's probably because of their control in the skies, and I don't know what just happened there. Uh, let's go ahead and, wow, look at all these, look at all these convoys we've sunk, guys. This is a lot. All right, so let's just go through these real quick. Let's see what we sunk here. Oops. All right, so uh, quite a few convoys. Again, just kind of hoping that these are our troop convoys. Uh, that's really what we need to be doing, because that's how we're, we've been killing so many of them, I think. All right, so uh, I can't ask for the British for these. I don't know if I mentioned that. I checked this, and they won't give us anything, unfortunately. We just don't have high enough war participation, apparently. All right, um, and then I'm just going to stop. I don't want anybody attacking here. I don't actually want to do attacks. Let's go and get these guys retreated because they're in a position to uh, be cut off right now. So we probably should retreat here. All right. That looks pretty good overall. I'm seeing if we have. Yeah, we do have. Okay, he's going there. I'm just looking for where we have extra divisions to stop this attack. And then uh, let's just take this guy and have him. Okay, he's going over there. So what we'll do is have him go here instead and have him go over there. And let's just take one of these and get him over going over to this front here. All right, so I want to take a look at this the situation in the sky. Still, uh, Ukraine is is a, a problem, guys. Uh, we just cannot compete in Ukraine no matter what we do. Uh, so we're going to be losing these two air zones. This one's way overstaffed. Wow. Um, okay, it looks like the Allies have just pumped planes all throughout our air bases. That's the only way that they're really helping right now is uh, in the sky, which is kind of unfortunate because it just results in them like overstacking all of our stuff, which is not good uh, but yeah we can start pulling back on uh, a lot of these areas and I don't know if we're gonna have enough air bases to, to cover all this honestly god damn man yeah so we lost all those air bases and that has resulted in us having some major issues uh, with overstacking penalties uh, so we're gonna have to fix this let me see how the best way we can do this all right so these are these transports they're supposed to be over here oh that would overstack that all right well, let me see what we can do here let's see if we can't uh, pull back here then and then uh, just kind of pull back from, we still do need to cover this zone since we are holding this. Uh, so we have to cover here. Uh, we can't pull back these guys though. Um, let's go ahead and see where we can put them. I think we're, we're gonna have some serious issues with overstacking, honestly. Let's go over here, get them moving over to this zone. And uh, that's, is this all fighters? Yeah, this is all fighters, okay. Uh, and then maybe move like, what do we have here? I guess this is fine. Uh, we'll leave what we have here. And then we're just gonna need to pull back a lot of these. We have a little bit of room there. Um, this is not overstacked yet, but we're about to lose that. All right, plane management, guys. I know it's like super fun, but yeah, we do need to uh, to do this. And so those guys are all moving out. We're gonna need to move a lot more of these out. Frankly, I don't think we're gonna have enough air bases uh, to get this done. So I'll move over here, have them here. Let's go ahead and do more ground crews there. 
I'm not going to do more ground crews here any longer. And uh, frankly, yeah, this is overstacked as well. So we're going to need we're going to need more air bases. Yeah, we just don't have we just don't have the air bases, guys. All right, um, what do we need here? We need more close air support. So let's just take a close air support wing. Are these all fighters? Yeah, these are all fighters. Okay, we might go ahead and get rid of. Oh, I completely forgot we're going to do this. Let me do this while I'm thinking about it, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some uh, troops training up. Uh, we want more of the Iron Guard. So let's go and train up a few of these. All right, just get those guys trained up for right now. Just two of them. Okay, so I think we might get rid of a, one of these fighter air wings, man. Well, they don't have any very much experience anyway. But yeah, the whole reason was we were trying to you know stack up in Ukraine. Uh, but now we're... We don't have the air bases to support this, guys. Uh, we could move one over to here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then have them cover this region here. Uh, a little bit of room there as well, so we're going to move one over to here. Kind of help us out here, maybe even control the skies now. And uh, we'll see how this looks. Maybe they'll pull some of these out for us. We pulled almost all. Yeah, we got all these pulled out. All right, we'll just go ahead and let the planes move around, and then we'll, we'll uh, take a look and see if uh, we need to make any further adjustments. All right, so yeah, just trying to get all these troops out, guys. Uh, looks like we did win there. It wasn't even a goal to win there, but uh, I guess we'll let them keep fighting there for now as long as it's green. All right, so we've taken that. That's going to let us evacuate a little bit quicker. All right, so we've got troops along here entrenching. Uh, you guys need to stay here and uh, entrench up. Frankly, you guys should probably go this way because uh, it does look like we're about to lose that there. And let's have them take the, the railroads on over here. Get them out of there quicker. Same thing with these guys. Just railroad on out of here. Yeah, because these guys have got to get along this front quicker, man. Because we're about to lose some heavily uh, fortified provinces uh, right now. Let's go ahead and have one of you guys go on over here. All right, so we need to get somebody else right there as well. All right, well, let's go ahead and have him go here then while the other one goes all the way over. All right. Uh, so, almost got all the troops up uh, along the line here now. Uh, we got one American division here that's supposed to be uh, helping us out. Uh, we do have our divisions here entrenching up as well. Uh, it does look like we've kind of stopped their efforts here to advance, so that's good. Uh, remember, we're bringing those other tank divisions over here as well. Just trying to hold this line while we pull back the Yellow Army. Try and get people entrenched, and most importantly, get the fortifications built. Uh, this is the main reason why we're even bothering to fight along this territory, guys. Is just so that we can get the uh, fortifications constructed. All right, uh, a lot of the yellow. Yeah, it looks like all this has been. I wonder if we can pull. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Leave that one open, so the yellow army doesn't try and go there. And uh, yeah, that looks good for now. They are about to take this. Can I beat them there? So make them fight us. Probably can. Yeah, we can. I think we have control the skies here. Let's take a look what this unread naval battle is. Oh, damn. Let's go and take a look. Is it this one? No, these are just convoys. It's this one right here. All right, we lost another submarine. Let's take a look at the naval situation. I know that we've lost a few submarines here and there, uh, so let's go and get them placed uh, back out there. Just kind of uh, replace the ones that we've lost. So I know that we lost one there, and uh, huh. He's in a battle yet. He was able to uh, reinforce him. I thought you couldn't do that. Did they change that? Looks like it. All right, you can reinforce even when you're in battle. That's nice because that was extremely inconvenient uh, when you couldn't uh, reinforce during a battle. Uh, we have troops attacking across here because I think I missed the front up. Yeah, let's go ahead and have uh, Purple Army come down here for right now. Uh, help us cover this this territory. You might pull them up, but we got to wait until the Green Army gets out of here. Let's go ahead and have these guys evacuate as well. All right, so we're getting up along this fort here. Uh, let's get these guys out of here. I don't know what they're doing. Come on, out, out, man. <laughs> All right, let's have those guys evacuate as well. All right, so we're looking pretty good. Um, these guys are fighting us here. That's not a, a fort though, so there's no reason to be fighting there. Let's just get out of there and retreat. All right, so we at least have one division in every province, so that's good. All right, so we have another division here to get trained up. Let's get him continuing training. Uh, there has also been some concerns in the, the comments about uh, our, you know, our fronts here with the Japanese 
and I think people are, are misunderstanding the way this this looks. Uh, there is only one; you, they cannot go through any of this. Obviously, you know, Afghanistan is not in the in the Axis or the Japanese faction, so there's only this one right here, which we are defending. We have six divisions assigned to defend there. They won't break through there. In fact, we probably don't even need six divisions. What I might go ahead and do is have one of these guys move over to here because this is kind of getting dire. So yeah, we'll go ahead and have that guy move over there. Yeah, he'll take the railroads. I think five divisions will probably be enough. So there's that one. And then you notice that there is no border here either. They can't they can't attack us here, guys. Uh, so it's really just this one here, which remember they can't attack because the Russians aren't in it. And we already have a, a line there. We just don't have any divisions assigned just yet. I think we have three uh, total. So we don't have to worry about any of that, guys. I noticed some people were kind of concerned. And this might be overkill as well, uh, 12 divisions assigned here. So let's go ahead and take one and put him over here because yeah, I feel like this uh, area is not defended enough. Uh, obviously the yellow army we don't have them all on this front just yet uh, we're getting these tanks over here so that's very good now uh, let's go ahead and increase these guys border here uh, we did win there as well okay that wasn't initially part of the plan uh, i was just trying to beat them there but we'll take it all right so these guys can all right we don't actually want to attack in any of these areas i keep on attacking uh, because they're moving over to that province beforehand uh so we are along the line now. This looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and actually pull these back. Just have them go over this way. There are some provinces that are undefended right now. Again, we're going to decrease the purple army's front once the green army, you know, we have enough of them over here. I feel confident that they can cover it on their own. And, uh, yeah, looking pretty good, man. Remember, they can't break through here. They've had no success uh, breaking through this territory yet. Uh, this guy needs to stop the madness. <laughs> trying to get through there uh, we don't have a let me just double check make sure that the front's not okay it's not going over that way all right awesome um let me just see here how we want to do this we might pull this back just take a look and have them go over this way instead at the very least what we'll do is have them go over here you know what we don't need to defend that one let's just go like this and then he can move on over here okay uh, let's go and have i know these guys are winning but let's have them retreat we just want to get them onto this damn front here as quickly as possible. All right, we're looking pretty good. Let's take a look at the air situation again. Uh, Ukraine does not need, you know, this many planes now because it's really just the peninsula here where we're fighting. So frankly, a lot of these planes uh, don't need to be here. I think I didn't completely assign all these guys over here. Let's make sure we do. So they'll cover this uh, area for us. We are overstaffed here. I don't know how many, oh, we lost a air base. That's what happened. So frankly, the, the air bases aren't large enough here. Uh, so we need to uh, build them up a bit more. Uh, so let's go ahead and build, because yeah, we just can't, uh, yeah, we just can't put any planes here. So let's go and build that up. And I'm gonna go and pop that up to the top as well, because it's kind of important. Uh, so we're gonna get that going. And uh, we're gonna have to pull back a lot of these planes. Uh, let's take a look here. We are looking pretty good here, uh, but it's only fighters. Uh, so we need a, a close air support wing there. Uh, it looks like the, yeah, that's unfortunate. Looks like the uh, some of the allies are have, have their planes there, which is not how I want that to look. All right, what we'll do is, can we get another close air support? We probably can. So let's go and get another close air support. Uh, air wing here. And then they are going to uh, cover Ukraine for us to cover right there. That should cover that territory. Uh, so we still need to move a lot of these guys back. I'm looking for open territory and there's just none, or open uh, air bases, excuse me. Uh, and there's really not any, uh, but we can do is assign some over to this region. So let's go and do that. Let's get the fighters. Oh, these are all close air support, aren't they? Yeah, these are all close air support. All right, so let's go and get some fighters moving over here uh, to help us cover here. We actually are winning there. Uh, and then just move one more as well. Have him cover over here for us. Just make sure we don't lose these air regions here. And uh, let me see what else we can do. Send uh, another close air support, another, well, we can only do one. Okay, that's fine. We'll just do uh, another close air support then. Again, just trying to, to decrease the, the amount of uh, air wings that we have here. And that is not going to be enough. Well, this is a little bit of penalty here if we move here, but I suppose we're going to have to. I suppose we can get rid of a, a one, another one of our fighter wings. I think we are having some trouble with uh, our current number of fighters. So yeah, let's just get, an, get rid of another fighter wing. All right, so that looks good. And then we still have to move one more of these. All right, so let's go ahead and move this one over here then. All right, and we'll see how that looks once we get moving. I think we have one extra air wing there still. So we'll have to make an adjustment there. 
We're going to take a look at what we did over here. Six German convoys uh, destroyed. Now, we've killed a lot of troops along our forts along here. Uh, nice little successful invasion there. Uh, we've killed a lot of troops along our forts here, but I think the majority of uh, the troops we've killed, well, maybe not the majority, but a big chunk of the troops that we've killed, uh, I think we've done in, in, in when we killed convoys. Uh, we're about to lose right there, so that's bad. All right, we're going to have to take one of these guys and have him go over there. Yeah, we are about to lose there. Okay, um, this guy is probably going to get cut off and destroyed. I don't think there's any saving him. I could try and uh, save him if I can get a division over to here in time. I highly doubt it, guys. Uh, let's just take a look see how much time we have. One day and 16 hours. Uh, we might be able to get there in time. Let's take a look. One day and four hours. Okay, so you know what? Let's take a couple of these guys then and have them move over here. I'm going to try and save this one division if we can. Uh, we'll see what we can do there. All right, so yeah, we are losing here again. That's That's a problem. Uh, these guys should be retreating there, yeah. So hopefully they'll get there soon. They get there in uh, 20 hours. These guys get here in uh, two days and 20 hours. Okay. So yeah, this is our fortified line that I feel like they're not going to break through. Oh, we lost that division. Okay, no point then. No point on continuing on. Okay, um, so yeah, the purple army is going to need to be pulled back some, I think. Uh, we got one more division coming over here to hold that. It looks like there's nobody even here. We could probably advance if we wanted to. I almost feel like we should. <laughs> just, to, just to cause problems, create another front here. Because, yeah, they're not, even, they're not even defending it at all. Yeah, that's interesting that they're not defending it. They don't have any troops there. Yeah, I don't know why they're doing that. Uh, let's see here. Can we pull any divisions? These guys will just go here. See if we can't get there in time. Can we pull any yellow army divisions off? I don't think so. I think we're, we got just enough to defend each province right now. Okay, uh, so we are almost completely fortified up here. Uh, these guys are not coming to this territory. Uh, what we could do is actually reduce the territory here. And then hopefully these guys will move over to here and cover this for us. Okay, just seeing what we can do. Just going to have them go this way. Just slowly, uh, I just really want to slowly pull back this yellow army if we can. So actually, let's have these guys come on over here. So we can get this fortified up. Uh, and maybe even pull back on these guys just a little bit. We need to get somebody here because it's only one province away. So he can actually come take the railroads over here. Just get there quickly, man. Alright, looking good. Still pulling a division. Let me see how we're looking here. Uh, we got 11 here, that's enough. Uh, so let's go and take these guys and put them onto this front. Uh, still waiting for divisions to get across here. Uh, so once we get all these guys here, but yeah, looking pretty good, man. This is not bad. Uh, they're going to attack across here and they're probably not going to see success. Uh, they did, yeah, we did win this. Excellent. Uh, we could go ahead and pull this back here. Uh, again, though, what we're going to be doing is pulling all the red army back. And since the purple army is along here, that's not a problem. We'll, we'll let them fight us for it. Uh, they're very keen on taking it, and while we don't have any forts, it is a forest province, so it is hard for them to take it. All right, yeah, this is looking good. And as I said uh, in a, a comment, somebody had mentioned that, uh, why do they keep asking for non-aggression packs? We're, like, in the, ex the Allies right now, aren't we? You know, guys, we are not in the Allies. I could have swore we were. What happened there, man? Let's accept that we're, maybe that's why they're not helping us. Yeah, it says that we are not in the Allies. That is really weird, because I could have swore they asked us and we joined it. All right, we'll do this. Um, let me just see what the hell happened here. Let's ask to join the faction. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happened. Oh, man, but that'll mess everything up, man. We're going to lose all these divisions again. Shit. And we'll have to rearrange everything. In fact, it looks like it already got messed up. Yeah, look at all these divisions that got taken from us. The, the German divisions, or the Russian, excuse me. Man, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Um, this is really weird. Like, we got pulled out of the faction, and then we're back. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the hell's going on. The game clearly seems to be messing up right now, guys. Yeah, because we're losing, like, control of all these. Man, I, I don't know. This is so weird. <laughs> Let's go and take a look here. Uh, can we annex them yet? We still have the five. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Did we not send them? And yeah, maybe they just haven't gotten it one yet. I don't know. That is weird. All right, we have to request. Yeah, this sucks, man. 
This is so frustrating. I'm going to tell you what, guys. I've never had, like, so many issues, so much frustration uh, with, like, front lines and just uh, divisions not, like, just not, it's not working properly. I mean, it's just incredibly frustrating, guys. Uh, and I just don't know, like, what's going on, man. It just doesn't make any sense. And now we're losing here. Like, what the fuck is going on, man? Like, this is ridiculous, man. <sighs> like, yeah, we're about to lose here. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, man. I have no idea what is going on. Like, why is this so fucked up? I'll tell you what, guys. I'm getting incredibly frustrated in this series. Frustrated in this series. Uh, it is just like... It is so broken, man. Uh, it is just so damn broken. And, uh, man, I don't even know where these guys are supposed to go now. I think these were all in the green army, if I'm not mistaken. Like, where is the green front? I can't even tell you. Oh, God. Yeah, this is so... Man. All right, so there's the green front so that we, we have a front to give them, make sure that they get in there. But, yeah, man, I just don't understand, like, why we're having so many issues. But it's been uh, incredibly difficult. Um, this whole entire campaign, we have seen like problem after problem after problem, and it's made uh, it's just made it more difficult than it needs to be. Uh, and like we just constantly find ourselves, um, you know, having these major issues. Like I think we just lost all these. Yeah, all these divisions are lost. Like this is like fucking ridiculous, man. Like I've just never had issues like this before across twenty something campaigns on this channel. Uh, I've just never had the problems that we've been having. This is just like, look at this. We lost all of these guys. Like, all of them. Like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Fuck, man. We have to redo all this. It's just so frustrating, guys. I, I just don't know. It's just kind of the problem, I think, of not um, calling, you know, countries into the wars with you. Uh, it just seems like it's the game's just not designed to allow you to do that. Like you have to, you're supposed to call everybody in, uh, and I think that's the main problem that we're why we're seeing these issues here, guys. Um, but yeah, this is like I don't even know what to do or how to fix this or how to deal with it because uh, it's getting incredibly frustrating uh, between the fronts, you know, just being all messed up, and it's just man. And so yeah, we have to tell all of them to to hold uh, to stop doing what the hell they were doing. Yeah, because everybody was trying to move out. All right, so we fixed that, but man, this is this is just gonna be all messed up now. We're gonna have to redo it over here again. All right, so that's it. Let's just go and dip around and see uh, where the hell all these divisions are that still need to be uh, assigned somewhere. Uh, so these guys are in this red army here. So we'll get them assigned. I'm just gonna look around and see, uh, yeah, this guy coming over here. Probably have a ton of divisions, in fact, that are now leaving. Yeah, that completely gave up their entrenchment. And the organization, for that matter, so they could go move uh, back to Russia. Fuck, man. Yeah, it's just, just ridiculous, guys, that we are having these problems. So let's go ahead and find all the damn divisions and uh, try and get this fixed. And we make sure that the blue army still has 24. Yeah, they do. All right. And uh, who's still left? Oh yes. Oh yeah. And these guys left too, giving up all their entrenchment. Yeah, I just don't know why. I don't know why we got kicked out of the Allies. Uh, it seems like that's what happened. We got kicked out of the Allies, and then, of course, it, the problem comes... And, yeah, we're losing a ton of submarines now. Uh, and, the, and the problem, of course, comes when you... And we are losing a lot of submarines over here. When you leave or, or join factions. That's what's creating this issue. Uh, and, yeah, so how much of this, this episode have I spent messing with this? <sighs> Super frustrating, guys. Uh, this episode and how, however many episodes we've we've had to deal with this, it's it's been a lot. I, I don't even know uh, how many how many times we've had to mess with this now. All right, and and I can't like cut it because and yeah, I'm really frustrated about this because I think we're gonna lose all this because of this now. I mean, we're gonna have to regain it, which is really irritating. All right, is there any? There's clearly still divisions left. Okay, here's the other yellow army division. We found them. How about, don't move. Stay where you're at. Uh, I think there's another Yellow Army Division moving right now, too. Come back here, man. Don't get sunk, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so we'll bring him back in here and uh, see uh, who else we're, we're missing. All right, so here's a division. I don't know where this guy was going. I assume over to here, maybe. I don't even know, though. Uh, he could have been going anywhere. Uh, so let's see who still needs 
divisions. All right, so these guys still need one. So what we'll do is we'll just take. Uh, uh, clearly, somebody's moving from really far away. Uh, bring him over to here. And uh, this. Okay, so this was one of these divisions. Damn it. <laughs> so he was probably going over to here, I guess. I don't know though. What I think we're gonna do because I saw one moving from really far away. Uh, let's take a look and, and get all these guys selected and figure out who this this division is coming from far away. Okay, so him. He'll go over to here instead. All right, so that looks good. Uh, and I think we got them all done. Good God, man. Yeah, that's that's really frustrating. So now that, that killed almost most of the time I had to, to record today. Uh, we got a little bit more time, but yeah, that was most of it. I think that was like 10 minutes it took me to, to reassign all those. Just, uh, man, so goddamn frustrating. And like, where, where are these guys going? If these are regular, fuck. Okay, uh, clearly I selected too many divisions. Uh, these guys were supposed to be in one of these two armies, I think. I think we were in the green army here. Uh, so, hmm. We'll have to again pull back so that I can sign these guys to the green army. Good God, man. I think we had a few uh, where I gained too much. We should have had 29. Uh, and where the hell are those guys? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, just we should have had 29, so I took three extra divisions. Uh, that shouldn't have been. Yeah, these guys should be on the red army. I don't know how that happened. How I grabbed too many. My bad, guys. Um, but clearly there are two more, so let's go and see if we can't find them. Here's one right now. Yeah, it's just I've never experienced this before, guys. Um, again, I don't think we... This may be a very unique situation uh, overall, and that's why we, we've never seen anything quite like it. But yeah, just stupidly frustrating. So yeah, these guys can come back now. <laughs> Get on the railroad, come on back over here. Good God, man. But yeah, just so many problems in this series. Uh, problems that were, you know, special, unique to this series. Um, you know, whether it was here with this situation that caused so many problems, even though I thought I fixed it beforehand, uh, to them consistently pulling all of the divisions that we're borrowing. And this is why I never use them. People ask me, oh, why don't you use your, your uh, subject divisions more? Uh, because they always have problems. Um, there's just lots of problems that are, uh, you know, that you can have with them. And I almost really want to attack here, guys. I think we will go and attack just because, just for shits and giggles, make them come over here and distract them some. Uh, we'll, we'll take two divisions and, and push forward here and create a little front and uh, just just cause a little bit of, a little bit of havoc. All right, let's go ahead and retreat here. I don't think, uh, well, they need to be attacking us or we'll just move right back. All right, so we could actually pull the yellow front back again to get these guys coming over here because we still don't have the yellow front fully uh, defended just yet. So that's something to consider. We still have uh, troops here, uh, that, or excuse me, a uh, province here that are undefended. All right, so we still have all of our uh, factories working on stuff, so no reason to make any adjustments there, but this should trigger the AI here. Uh, when we attack here, it'll trigger them to, to send divisions over here. And uh, in fact, let's go ahead and create a little front here. And let's cut these guys off before we attack and see if we can't destroy them. Okay. And uh, maybe they'll pull some divisions back. Uh, but yeah, so far holding out. They're not attacking in most areas, though. And I don't feel like we have enough uh, purple divisions to cover this just yet. Um, yeah, I think the problem is we need to pull the purple army back some, but yeah, we can't do that. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure how to do this now. All right, we'll just have to wait. I think, you know, we pulled some divisions back, so I know that affected things. Uh, so hopefully we don't get pulled out of the allies again. I mean, we never even got a notification, did we? Or did I just miss it? Uh, looks like uh, we were involved in that. Yeah, did I just miss the notification? I mean, that's definitely uh, possible uh, that I just completely missed the no notification. Uh, let's go and put, let's go and fill these guys out now. And here, here, and I think that's it. Yeah, but I could have missed the notification uh, when we got pulled out of the allies. Uh, that's, you know, definitely a possibility but yeah I didn't see anything I didn't see anything regarding it okay so yeah we're still winning there despite how weak these divisions are so we'll keep them keep them there uh, we can go ahead and build more divisions too let's go ahead and do that uh, try and get our division numbers up man uh, we're gonna need more troops frankly 
Uh, so they came, yeah, this did trigger them, uh, just as I thought it would. And uh, now we can go and attack here. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put this guy over here uh, to cover this province for us. All right, so we're just going to destroy that division. Uh, he shouldn't be able to get out of here. And they could attack there, potentially, and cut that guy off. Hopefully they don't. And we'll send uh, this guy over here, so try and cover that. And yeah, this should trigger him a little bit to come and defend it. Just make him... Make them defend it. And it doesn't look like we're going to win there, uh, despite the fact... Oh, they're about to get over here. Let's take a look, see if we can beat them one day in two hours. And we get there in one day in one hour. Okay, so just in time, it looks like. All right, let's make sure nothing changed here. 17 hours. 16 hours. Yeah, we're going to get there one hour before them. Uh, oh, they attacked us, though. Damn it. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, so they're going to cut this guy off. So I'm trying to be a smart ass over here. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to result in them cutting us off now. All right, so that's a real shame. Shit. I was afraid that this was connected here. And I can't get these guys to retreat now. And let's try and have this guy retreat over to here so maybe he'll get there in time. I don't know, though. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get there in time, guys. One day and 11 hours over here. And this, uh, when's this guy retreat here? Three hours compared to there. Two hours. God damn it. They shortened us by just one hour, which was enough to cut this guy off. Fuck shit, private. All right, so I was trying to cut a division off, and all I did was get myself cut off. I was super smart. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of there. Cut our losses, man. I did what I wanted to do, which was to, uh, you know, distract them. Let's get out of here. And uh, just kind of make them defend here, and most importantly, attack us. This was the point, was for them to attack me here in this, this uh, territory. And they haven't done so. All right, let's go and retreat these guys. And I think we're going to go ahead and also pull back the Red Army front here. Let's go and just pull these guys back. Let them uh, go elsewhere. And then the Purple Army, we're going to pull them back as well. Uh, and the Green Army does need to cover all this, though. So we're going to pull the Purple Army back a bit. Uh, they currently have... I'm trying to see how many divisions they currently have. Where is this purple army? Right here. They have 17. So this will be one, two. You know what? We could probably pull them back here then in this case. Uh, so this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So that'll be seven. Uh, and they have 17. So we can cover one more, I suppose. So we'll just go ahead and cover here then. And that'll allow us to pull the Ram Army back even more. Okay. Green Army, on the other hand, has a total of only 15 divisions now, because we did lose uh, that one division there. Uh, but on this actual front here, it's only 12 divisions. So let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we probably only want to cover these ones here. And I think we're covering a little bit further than that. So we'll just go and pull it back like so, I think. All right, awesome. Remember, these are high-level forts, so it's going to be really hard for them to break through here. Uh, and these guys actually are winning, but yeah, we, we don't want to win there. We want to retreat. And we'll see if they'll attack us across here. We do have one one entrenched division. Uh, as far as, like, our air coverage here, I mean, yeah, we just can't uh, can't do anything. I almost don't want to even have planes here because we're probably just taking heavy losses. Uh, so it seems, like, uh, pretty pointless overall. So let's see if we can't move them somewhere. Um, somewhere they'll be a little bit more uh, useful. So let's see how we can do this. Move them over here, I suppose, over to this airbase. I just don't see the point on uh, covering here. And then we, yeah, we'll just move the uh, the one that's here in Ukraine and have them cover here for us. And that's 400. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these fighters moving out. And we'll move them over to, we have a little bit of room right there. But I think that's it. We do have room right there, though. So let's go and move these guys over to here and uh, have them come over this way. Make sure that everybody is here. And, okay, so that actually looks pretty good then. In this case, we'll have him go here. And this guy will go over to here. Okay, just completely give up on Ukraine where they have all those damn planes. Uh, and I am noticing that we still have, yeah, that's what I thought, one extra air wing here. All right, well, we can go ahead and pull them back then. And uh, have them come over here so we're not getting any kind of penalty. Other than that, we look pretty solid. And we are controlling all the air regions where we want to fight for right now. Uh, though we do have some problems here, it looks like. Okay, uh, maybe add another fighter air wing here. 
have these guys. It looks like they're already there. Okay. Um, oh, we can get one more air wing over here. So instead of moving there, let's move them here. All right, so yeah, just front management, uh, air management, a lot of uh, unfun stuff, frankly. Uh, what is the, the thing we have here, the decision? Uh, Anti-democratic raids, so we can do that again. Looks like the uh, democracy did tick up, because remember, as we do the anti-fascist raids, it, it goes into democracy as well. We're at 42% for non-aligned, still 48% for fascism. It's gonna take us a while to get that done, guys. All right, so uh, Red Army will be pulling back here cover this front so that we can pull the tanks back because uh, I want to do an off offensive into Italian territory. It looks like the the allies are bringing their troops back over to here. All right, so they actually are bringing some troops here and we are about to lose this, it looks like. All right, well, that's a shame. Uh, I was hoping, and part of that is because we lost that division and then we also lost all that entrenchment. So I suppose it's not really all that surprising that we're losing there. Uh, they can't break through here, it looks like. Uh, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys cover this here. So that we can pull another uh, another one of the yellow divisions back. And uh, just kind of entrenching up along here. And let's go ahead and pull back yellow army's front to like right there since they're not even covering any of this. And we do have some extra divisions here that can cover this for us. All right, we got the modern tanks. Finally, it took us a long time so we can build out some modern tank divisions. Uh, so we'll, we'll be doing that soon. But let's go in and get some of this other stuff first, like modern self-propelled artillery. And we'll just start building the modern tanks. And what did we get here? Oh, we got the rocket interceptors, okay. Let's just get rid of that, so we know about it. And uh, is there something else? No, there's nothing else. Uh, so let's go and get the modern tanks building and uh, just place these you know, up on the top of the tanks and uh, put a lot of equipment towards them and uh, pull back from the uh, medium tanks to kind of account for this a little bit. And, uh, you know, make up for some of the issues that we're going to have and resources. All right, um, so we can go and pull back from our steel uh, trading just a little bit, get some of these factories back. And uh, in fact, it looks like we can pull back a lot, uh, but we are short on rubber again. And let's pull back from UK, I suppose. All right, excellent. That'll give us more of our civilian factories back. Uh, but you'll notice that we don't really have that you know, less factories than what we had before, because again, all this territory we've lost, uh, it looks like they pulled pulled it back. All right, awesome, we won there. Uh, but yeah, it, we had like, at most, 360 factories. We only have uh, 344 now, but that's not that big of a, a drop, frankly. So yeah, not too shabby. Hate that we have to overlap this. Maybe what we might do is take all the purple divisions that, I mean, are over here and then put them into the green army. That might be the best way to do this, and uh, yeah, that, that's how we'll do this, guys. Let's just pull the, there's no reason to overlap this when they're not even, like, you know, overstaffed or anything like that. And then we'll just take any troops that are, let's see here. So we currently have uh, 17 purple army divisions and uh, 15 of the green army divisions. Okay, uh, so we're covering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's try and get like yeah, these guys all placed along here then. All right, so that's good. That gets us up to 20 divisions for the green army. Uh, these guys can now stay here. Uh, and only 12 for the purple army. They're covering one, two, three, four, five. All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, so it just makes it a little bit easier for me to kind of see what the hell's going on here. And yeah, we're holding out. They can't, they can't break through here. We're pulling back uh, red army divisions. Uh, a bit. Uh, I'm actually going to send one of these guys over here uh, just to make sure we don't lose that province as we're pulling. We, we did lose these guys and we're still waiting for more purple army divisions. I'm also going to put this guy over here for right now because the red front is actually good for right now. Okay. So yeah, they can't break through here. Uh, and then they're even having trouble here, which the point of having these guys here is really just to stall them a bit uh, and then as we kind of get troops entrenched. And I think we finally have every province covered. All right, about time. It took us a while, uh, but we finally did it. We have every province uh, covered now. Excellent. And yeah, we're just gonna make them uh, fight us for this this territory here. Uh, it's, it's taken them a long, long time uh, to break through here. Uh, we probably killed a ton of them. And I think that's actually the end of the episode. Uh, this has finally fixed itself, but as you can see, we did, well, it, it messed it all up, guys. Uh, it's a real shame that it ended up going down that way. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit irritated overall at the way this has, has happened. Man, this is not, uh, happen the way it's supposed to. 
All right, so let me just take a look which army this one is. It's 24 uh, divisions here. Okay, so we don't want to put them there. Uh, does the yellow army have 24? They do. Uh, how about these guys? They have 24. Okay, they do. I guess we can move them over to the green front then. Uh, this tank division, I mean, I that we just built here. Uh, yeah, we're going to get these guys uh, moving over to here. And we could go and try and build some, some Soviet divisions. Uh, oops, I want them on a green front. My bad. Uh, so, yeah, maybe we'll... Actually, let's bring them over here. Uh, maybe we'll take a look here. Uh, no, no, no. We'll do that next episode, guys. Uh, it is time to end this one. Uh, it just sucks, man. We wasted a whole 10 minutes fixing the... Uh, uh, again, for the second time, fixing fixing provinces. Uh, or, excuse me, fixing, uh, you know, uh, the divisions and the provinces, the fronts, I mean, uh, from losing all the uh, divisions when we left the allies and then rejoined them. Uh, just, I just don't know why uh, we got pulled. That was weird. Uh, I, I don't think I did anything. I don't think I clicked on anything. Uh, but yeah, just super weird overall. Uh, oil's still an issue despite the fact that we are trading for more. So we might need to go ahead and trade real quick. Just like, we'll do like one more for right now and see how that looks. I'm just trying to get all these selected. Uh, yeah, just sunk a, a ton of Axis convoys. So let's take a look and see how we did on casualties. Uh, so we're now up to 318,000 casualties, uh, 300 of that by the Germans, and uh, 8.74 million casualties for the Germans, guys. Uh, we're at 4.7 million. Uh, that's how much we caused. So we killed about another, over another million men here. Look at the losses. They're starting to catch up. Uh, the fielded manpower is starting to get much lower now. Uh, things are turning. Uh, the Germans have taken so many casualties. Absolutely insane how many casualties they have taken, guys. Uh, so uh, we have, uh, so as somebody mentioned, we have a fantastic kill-death ratio. Our kill-death ratio is like, oh, man, I don't know. I'm not even going to do the math, but like 12 or something like that. Like 12 uh, Germans have died for every Romanian. Uh, so we've done great. Uh, you notice that the Allies aren't uh, taking as many casualties as they were. Uh, yeah, they're pretty much kind of staying consistent here. And, uh, I mean, we're the main ones taking casualties now. Uh, the Italians, we have now killed 600,000 Italians for only 18,000 deaths. So we've done, we've just done so well, guys. Uh, this has gone uh, better than I expected, honestly, um, uh, when it comes to, like, the how many we've killed. Let's just take a look and see how much manpower they got left. Maybe 4 million. Uh, remember when we started this war, they had, like, 9 million manpower almost. Uh, so we have killed over half of them uh, in a period of three months, basically. Uh, so again, I know that this episode went slow, um, but part of that was because of me trying to fix fix these issues. Uh, it's just been so frustrating, guys. I just don't understand it, man. I, I don't know. I don't know how we got pulled out of the allies, and I don't know why it does that. Why, when you join a faction or leave a faction, that it uh, it does that. And yeah, we just can't get the damn uh, Bulgarians annexed, man. We're still at five. I might need to go ahead and do something again. I know that they've contributed some to the war score, but that isn't much. I'll try and give them some more equipment, guys, and get them get them ticked down. But yeah, I just can't get them get them to zero so that we can annex them. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'll try and do it again next episode. Uh, but yeah, so far uh, things are are going pretty damn well. Here's the situation in the skies. We control everywhere that we're actually fighting in. You know, we're not fighting in Ukraine anymore, with the exception of here in eastern Poland. Uh, other than that, we are dominating the skies. Uh, they do have control over here, but that's pretty pointless because um, obviously there is no uh, no fighting over there. Uh, and just as far as naval invasions go, uh, allies have had a couple successful ones here and there, but then they just uh, they get pushed back into the sea eventually. Uh, so. We'll have to see what happens on in that regard. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, I will see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.